Raspberry Pi US Bullseye has been out for a few weeks now, but is it really worth the upgrade? Well, let's find out in today's video. So this is Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye, and the last version was Raspberry Pi OS Buster. So I have been using this operating system whenever I use my Raspberry Pi for the past couple of weeks, and I think that it is, you know, getting to be a great operating system, but there are st still some bugs. But let's just take an in-depth look today. So we have some new features in Bullseye. So like drop shadows from the new Mutter Window Manager. And I think one of the bigger changes is the new, you know, interface and stuff like that. And it's just kind of, you, you know, the it's kind of more like the regular Linux distros because Raspberry Pi OS is stored sort of stripped down but it's becoming more like the others and becoming more of a useful desktop os and so the thing is there are some bugs so some of the ones that i know this well it's just kind of unstable at certain times like in chromium for example sometimes it will just randomly crash chromium not the whole operating system but then sometimes like it will crash the whole operating system like when i close a window for example there's just some random things here and there it seems pretty good for the most part but where the issues start coming in is if you're doing stuff like for example with the camera they have a new camera interface so before you could type like raspberry I still in the terminal and I don't have a camera um, you know connected to my Pi but this used to be a command and it is not anymore and the same thing with Raspi vid that is no longer a command in the terminal and so the other thing is the Python thing won't work as of right now so if you were doing a Python project with the camera, as far as I know, there's no way to get it working as of right now. I haven't really experimented with this a whole lot, but you, there are alternatives to Raspberry still and Raspberry vid, but as far as the Python thing, that is not quite there yet. So that is a downside. If you are using the camera, you should probably just stick with Buster for now depending on how you are using it as far as like you know using the camera through the browser like for zoom and stuff like that that should work i think i should try that though anyway so if you're using the camera you should probably just stick with buster for now and then there are some other other little things like that that's really the main thing i guess but some things that have changed, you know, have caused a lot of problems. Now, as far as updating Buster, if you do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, it will not upgrade to Bullseye. You have to manually do that, and I recommend just clean installing your card. And the thing is with that, well, if you're doing that, you know, that is basically wiping the entire operating system. So it may be just worth staying on Buster. And what you could do is clone your card, make a backup and, you know, try upgrading, make sure everything works. If you want to do that, upgrading from your previous operating system, depending on how much you've done to it. Like, I know, you know, some of my projects, I've done a whole bunch of things, getting driver set up and everything like that. And I don't, uh, I haven't upgraded them to Bullseye because I don't want to mess things up and I may make a backup and do it at some point in a few months. For certain things like projects, there's really no advantage of Bullseye for the most part. And so I would just stick with Buster for a while 
because you know Buster is still getting updated. It's still getting the you know security patches and stuff like that. And so it is still a great option. However, if you are using your Raspberry Pi like for a desktop computer, I would recommend an upgrade to Bullseye sometime in the near future. Maybe not right now, depending on how much you use it. Like if you use it as your main computer, um, then maybe hold off for a little bit. You could try it on another micro SD card or something. But if you use it kind of as a secondary computer, then you may want to do it. But don't trust it completely as far as reliability for now, I would say, because it's not completely stable. So to sum these up, basically, if you are using it as a desktop computer, maybe, maybe not. If you don't need the extra features, then there's really no point in doing it, at least for now, maybe in a few years, you know, you'll have to do it and it will be like a lot better at that point. I mean, even in a few months, it should be the normal thing, except for some camera things, maybe they are continually updating this. Like there are updates like often on Bullseye. If you're doing a project that just has like one purpose or something, there's really no point of Bullseye that I can see anyway. At that point, you might as well stick with Buster as long as you possibly can, because it is a very stable operating system, I think, and it's still a great operating system. And also, it will continue to receive updates. So if you're making a new card, like for, you know, with a new operating system on it, then the, I, I would say, you know, if you are doing it for a project or something, you might want to get Buster. I will leave a link in the description where you can still download Buster, but really just follow the other guidelines and you can choose either one. So like, say you use Raspberry Pi Imager. Well, if you choose the default one, that is Bullseye, but you can download the Buster one. Anyway, it's kind of hard to answer the question, but I hope this video helped you out anyway. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing.